It's a beautiful day in North Vancouver and I'm just going to take you along with me on my day today. You may have noticed that I dyed my hair red. Hope you like it. Just a nice relaxing day in Vancouver. This is the view from the balcony on my apartment out here in North Vancouver and I'm living up in the treetops which is actually kind of fun. It kind of reminds me of watching a video of like the Amazon jungle or something like that where they show the treetops and I get to watch a lot of really cute squirrels having their lunch outside um, during the day. So I'm really enjoying being up here on the treetops actually. It's a very unique experience. I have been cooking a lot at home in my apartment. We're gonna do a little bit of cooking right now. Ever since the pandemic started, I just really got into home cooking and I've been getting more and more into just healthy, natural, real foods, mostly plant-based, but I also have proteins from time to time like eggs, fish, the occasional chicken or turkey. Also surviving cancer twice now internally and also on my skin really makes me more self-aware and wanting to focus more on healthy natural things. This is one of my favorite recipes. You can find a lot of these recipes in the description below and also on my Patreon page which is patreon.com slash Glory of the West. After spending quite a bit of time in Denmark, Sweden, and the UK, and also out here in Canada now, I really have appreciation for, you know, the quality of the foods in other areas of the world. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to take you to Vancouver's most famous bakery and we can never come here and not go. If you visit this city, you can't miss it. So this is the Pure Bread Bakery and there are two locations in Vancouver. And the bakery is kind of like walking into a Harry Potter movie. See those meringues. Look at the meringues. This bakery is on fifth. East 5th Avenue and Ontario Street. Raspberry cake and what was the other thing? There's another thing. Ooey there. gooey chocolate chip bar. Ooey gooey chocolate chip bar. Mm -hmm. Uncle Peter, he asked me if I had heard from him. I said I haven't heard from him in years. Matthew never mentioned it to me. Jim doesn't talk to me, so it's news to me. I wouldn't mind. Since 
since I've been here, I've been indulging in a lot of cafe food, restaurant food, and I've only actually been sick once. And that was some sort of artificial taco stand. <laughs> so I don't really know what happened there, but I can't eat out at all in America, in the United States, because I get sick every time. But uh, I have been just fine out here, except for the one time. So this is for soy sauce if you want to. We are at Canada's Pizza Pizza having a Canadian classic called poutine, which is potatoes with gravy and Parmesan cheese. Is that buffalo poutine? Buffalo poutine and chicken wings. And I didn't turn that. <laughs> We're heading out to the Happy Lamb Hot Pot. Another place to not miss in Vancouver. The Happy Lamb Hot Pot. So the Happy Lamb Hot Pot restaurant has a little cooker right in the center. Is it not super hot? No, it's not super hot. Mom says it's beyond hot. <laughs> and we've got some nice tea right here. We're waiting for our robot to deliver our meal. What else? What, what's all in the robot's Uh, That's what I was just... <laughs> So we got spicy on one side and regular chicken broth on the other. So we're being served by a robot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's leaving. It's going, to <laughs> it's going to someone else's table. Okay. But this is the little robot that serves the meals. Here we have all kinds of beautiful sauces and toppings. So this is our robot, robot number 52. Yeah, we gotta take the food off And then we have to take the food off the trays. And this is the food. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the food. <laughs> okay, is that the dessert? I'm gonna pass it to you. The lychee pudding. How long do you have to get it off? Does it run away? <laughs> okay. Thank you. You want to try kimchi? And this tofu. And there's lots of different kinds of meats. Oh, whoa. Okay, maybe put the meat in where the meat is. There's chicken. And then we got seafood. Oh, I want kimchi. And then we have noodles. Alright, we got oh, yeah, and apparently picture. there's more coming. I got sauce all over my phone. I haven't had it before. This is particularly delicious. How do you like it? How's your kimchi, Elizabeth? Particularly good. What do you put in here? Oh. oh, rice too? Oh, oh, thank yeah. you. Okay, so you guys, we actually got two robots full of food. A crazy amount of food. Look at this. How much is this? We filled up our pot. I already paid for it. It was in the bag. How much? Well, I'll pay for it. No, 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 don't worry about it. <laughs> I wanted to take you out too. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. One more. Put it in. Put it in. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna try the saute. Oh wait. Is 
Is it super spicy? Or are you trying to get the head off? I know. I'm gonna put this back in the water. What was this that you got, Mom? Mm. Oh yeah, that is pretty good. Putting that back. What? But we're slow. That makes us seem unprofessional. I'm like, no, nah, I just tell the truth. <laughs> uh, what is it? It's just like a trail mix berry. It's like a raisin. How is it? It doesn't really taste like anything. If you do all you can eat, you can't take food back with you. But if you do the two person or the four person hot pot, then you can take out all the rest of the food and just bring it home and have hot pot tomorrow. If you rated this hot pot, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the best, what number would you give it? Of all the hot pots you've ever tried. <laughs> Which is, this is the only one you've ever tried. An 8? What rating would you guys give it, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the best? Another 10 hot pots. 10 out of 10? 9 out of 10? 5? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I guess it depends on who you are and what your tastes are. I think I would give it like a 9. Oh, I thought you were like, what do I do? Maybe even a 10, actually. I might give it a 10. Did you give it a 10? I think I'd give it a 10. So, apparently, we are going to get donuts and ice cream today. Are they closed? All right, well, they're closed, but this is the place that you can go. They have the best donuts. All right, so we are heading over to DQ, Dairy Queen, Canada. Have a great day. Oxygen. 